Hi guys, The Metal Maniac back again, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on the album The Legacy by Testament. Um, this was their debut album, and it uh, was released in 1987. Um, so, before I get into the songs, I'm going to name off the band members really quick. Um, Eric Patterson on guitar, Alex Skolnick on guitar, Greg Christian on bass, Louis Clem... Clement on drums and Chuck Billy on bass. I'm oh, sorry, on vocals. Um. Oh, all right. So the album starts off with uh the song "Over the Wall." Um, very, very, very good opening track. Uh, it it just starts off right off the bat. You know, it's very fast, energetic. Um, and then it has this really, really technical but uh melodic guitar solo. Um, and then, of course, Chuck Billy's vocals are, you know, very aggressive and very, you know, uh, a little bit, I wouldn't say average thrash metal vocals, but, you know, they, they do, you know, they're not anything spectacular, but, again, they're good. Um, but, yeah, Over the Wall, great start to the album. Uh, the next song is called The Haunting. Um, this one's very forgettable. It, it kind of feels just like a filler song. Um... Something to uh, pad out the runtime. Uh, eh, I don't know. Not not a very memorable song. Um, but yeah. So the next song is called "Burnt Offerings." Um, this one's very interesting. Um, it, it starts off with a very uh, sort of mellow, very melancholy kind of uh, uh, very melodic intro, um, and then it, then the bridge, uh, the bridge riff starts, and it, uh, it gets a little bit more, um, uh, heavy, and then it goes into the main, you know, song itself, um, and, uh, the, the, the main riff on this one is very interesting, because it's, it's a, it has a very almost Arabian type feel to it, um, so does the way, uh, the chorus is saying as well. Uh, but yeah, Burnt Offerings, very good song. Also, uh, same title as uh, as a song on the, I believe, the second Iced Earth album. Um, but yeah. Um, the next song is called Raging Waters. Uh, very, very good. Very fast-paced. Very, um, very technical. This, the the, the uh, overall, like riff on this one is very technical but also very uh 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 i guess not melodic but very you know it has a really good rhythm to it um and then the actual chorus the uh chorus to the song very cool very catchy um but yeah another great song um and then to end side one is uh the song curse of the legions of death um, just like with The Haunting, it's very forgettable, and it's a very forgettable song, and just, it feels like something, a song just put there to pad out the runtime. Um, alright, starting off on side two is the song, uh, First Strike is Deadly. Uh, very good song, very, uh, it's just a very cool song. Actually, this song, even though Over the Wall is a, is a, is a pretty good uh, opening song, I kind of think that the song First Strike is Deadly may have, would have been a slightly more fitting opening track. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, First Strike is Deadly is really good. Um, one of the more technical, um, songs on the album in terms of the guitar work. Um, and then it has this really great solo. There's a lot of really good guitar riffs and solos on this album. Uh, but yeah, First Strike is Deadly, great song. Um, the next song is called Do or Die. Um, another one with a very good, catchy um, uh, chorus to the song. Um, but yeah, very good. Um, the next song is called Alone in the Dark, my favorite song on the album. Uh, probably the catchiest chorus on the entire, uh, out of any of these songs. Very, also, very melodic chorus, too. Like, there's a very good melody to the vocals on this chorus. Uh, again, another great guitar solo. Vocals are great. Um, and it's my favorite song on the album. And then the end song, the final song, the album closer, is called Apocalyptic City. Very, very good. Uh, very fitting as the final track on the album. Uh, again, very technical uh, riffs and solos. 
Uh, the vocals are great, the drumming's really good, and uh, yeah, just a really great uh, end song to the album. Um, yeah, th this album is actually pretty short. Uh, it does have what... Uh, It is. Uh, it has a you know the typical uh, eight slash nine uh, um, uh, song listings here, but even then, the, the the album is pretty short. It just breezes by pretty fast. But I, I don't think that's a problem. Um, it's it just is kind of um, I guess slightly disappointing considering that the album is pretty enjoyable for the most part. So it, when it ends, you're just kind of uh, like oh already. Um, anyway, um, so the artwork, uh, the artwork is really, really, really good. Um, it really draws you in. Um, so the artwork, um, it, it's really unique. I, I don't think there's anything quite like it. Um, it, it's sort of, not really abstract, but it is sort of, I don't know, it, it has a lot of different things going on. Uh, in the in the in the uh, foreground, you get this uh, uh, almost like castle-looking thing, this portcullis of some kind, like a, a window in a castle, you know, but without you know the actual like window pane. It's just uh, a hole. Um, and uh, on the ledge right there, you get a it looks like a spell book, and then you got this sort of demon skull popping out. Uh, looks really really cool. And then you got the title of the album here, the legacy. Um. And then you got the, uh, of course, the Testament logo, which is one of the best uh, logos when it comes to uh, just how iconic it is. I like how it's sort of almost like it has three dimensions to it. It's not, it's not like a flat logo like a lot of uh, uh, logos on a, a, a lot of band logos are just flat. This one has some three dimension to it, as you can see right here. Um, and then it has a, like a, a pretty interesting color combo. Um, it's silverish white with like a, a greenish gray on it as well. Um, pretty cool. Um, and then the back you get the logo, but it's just a uh, black with a uh, red trim. Um, you get the track listing there, and then the uh, band members. Um, this album. Uh, this is a, a pretty recent re-release. I think this this re-release came out not that long ago. I think like two or three months ago, actually. Um, this is a, a limited edition. Uh, sorry, limited edition though. Um, as you can see on the uh, packaging, right there. Uh, there we go. Um, it says a uh, limited numbered edition of fifteen hundred silver silvered copies. Um, One eighty gram vinyl. Um, and yes, this is one of the very few silver vinyls I've come across. The only other one was uh, um, uh, the first uh, Maiden Live album. Um, and yep, there's the uh, silver vinyl. Pretty cool looking. Um, so, my overall thoughts on this album. Well, even though for the most part it's actually pretty good, it is one of the weaker thrash metal debuts of you know the more well the more you know, the uh, big band the big thrash bands not technic not I'm saying not the big four but overall with overall big thrash bands you know uh, Exodus um, Slayer Metallica um, Megadeth uh, and Anthrax all those big oh and Overkill as well all the out of all the big thrash metal bands out there. Um, this, I, it's not the weakest, um, debut album of, of, overall, but it is one of the weaker ones. But, you know, it's, it's nothing on the terrible level of, like, uh, uh, the first Megadeth album or anything like that. It's not, it's not terrible, it's not, you know, n not memorable, but I do find it to be a solid album, but uh, compared to other, uh, other, uh, albums by the... Uh, I mean, other uh, debut albums by the bigger thrash bands. This is, eh, it holds up, but, you know, it is lacking in some areas. Um, I, I, do, I do think that the uh, second half of the album is definitely a lot stronger than the first half. 
Um, I do think the the songs The Haunting and uh, Curse of the Legions of Death sort of hold down, sort of weigh the first half down. Uh, like I said, Over the Wall, even though it's a pretty good um, uh, uh, starting song, I do think, to some extent, uh, First Strike is Deadly is a, would be a, a little bit more fitting opening track. Um... But yeah, I mean, I'm gonna give this a uh, seven out of ten. Uh, like I've said, most of the songs on here are actually pretty good. Um, but again, like again, it it, it kind of feels uh, a, a little bit of a lesser thrash metal debut. Um, but you know, it, it doesn't matter because it, this is still a pretty enjoyable listen for the most part. Um, yeah, sorry for the shorter review. Uh, like I said, this the album it, it's pretty short. It breezes by pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, it's a seven out of ten. Pretty solid debut, but out of you know the, the big thrash bands, definitely one of the weaker ones. Um, but yeah, still enjoyable nonetheless. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that was my uh, review of the Legacy by Testament. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.